greenhouse effect. What is greenhouse? The greenhouse is a structure or building, made of with glass walls, and glass roof, in which, the plants that need protection, from cold weather are grown. The glass walls, and glass roof, allowing sunlight to penetrate in freely, and warm the air and plants inside. If the door and ventilation windows are closed, the warm air can't escape, so the temperature of everything in the greenhouse goes up. Thus, greenhouse acts as a heat trap. Electromagnetic spectrum and shortwave longwave radiation. The electromagnetic spectrum is a collection of wavelengths of light or electromagnetic radiation. Everything that has a temperature gives off electromagnetic radiation. In the electromagnetic spectrum, we see that when the energy increases, the wavelength decreases and vice versa. That means, energy is inversely proportional to wavelength. So, short-wave radiation contains higher amounts of energy, and long-wave radiation contains a smaller amount of energy. Radiation from the sun, commonly known as sunlight, is a mixture of electromagnetic waves ranging from infrared to ultraviolet rays. Due to visible light, we can see sunlight. As the sun is reasonable hot, it radiates as a shorter wavelength. However, since the Earth is much cooler than the Sun, it's radiating much weaker infrared energy. How Greenhouse Works Solar energy enters our atmosphere as short-wave radiation in the form of ultraviolet rays and visible light. When the radiation enters the greenhouse, the radiation absorbed by the inside objects of the greenhouse. These objects re-emitted the infrared radiations as a longer wavelength, which cannot pass easily through the glass. Because, short-wave radiation can easily pass through the glass wall of a greenhouse and go inside it. But, the longer wavelength radiation does not allow to escape through the glass. So, it again reflected inside the greenhouse. Thereby, this re-emitted long-wave radiation warms the soil, plants, and so on inside a greenhouse. Even without an internal supply of heat, the temperature inside a greenhouse becomes higher than that outside. Thus, the glass acts as a heat trap. This is called greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect works much the same way on Earth. 
as we know, the glass panels of a greenhouse, allow sunlight through, and trap heat inside. Similarly, due to some gas molecules in the Earth's atmosphere, act as heat trap, for warming the Earth. These heat trapping gases, are called greenhouse gases. What are the greenhouse gases? Greenhouse gases are the gases that absorb infrared radiation, which emitted from Earth's surface and re-radiating it back to Earth and warms the planet. Properties of greenhouse gas. Greenhouse gases are transparent to most shortwave energy from the sun. Greenhouse gases absorb longwave radiation. Generally, most of the greenhouse gases are made of three or more atoms. The atoms are held together loosely enough that they vibrate when they absorb heat. Which are the greenhouse gases? Many chemical compounds present in Earth's atmosphere behave as greenhouse gases. Some greenhouse gases occur naturally in the atmosphere, while others result from human activities. Greenhouse gases that occur both naturally and from human activities include water, carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, ozone, methane, chlorofluorocarbon or CFC. Mechanism of greenhouse gases. Let's consider carbon dioxide, which is a major contributor to the greenhouse effect. Carbon dioxide is transparent to visible light, but absorbs infrared radiation. That means, infrared radiation cannot pass through the carbon dioxide. When carbon dioxide molecule absorbs infrared, it vibrates more strongly. So, the carbon dioxide gets much warmer but, it doesn't keep the infrared energy for long, and radiating it, back to the Earth is heat. When the energy re-emitted from the carbon dioxide molecule, it stops vibrating. This re-emitted radiation keeps heat near the Earth's surface. But homonuclear diatomic molecules, nitrogen and oxygen, which make up more than 90% of Earth's atmosphere, do not absorb infrared radiations. For that reason, they do not consider us greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gas helps in maintaining an ideal habitable temperature, which makes it possible for life to thrive on Earth. Without this, the Earth's surface would have ended up being a lot cooler than its current temperature. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss a single video.